today we will discuss on functions and file inclusion in PHP. So this is a summary we are going to talk today. Uh, we will talk about PHP functions, then we will talk about PHP built-in functions, then PHP user-defined functions, and we will lastly talk on PHP file inclusion. So what is PHP function? A function is a block of statements that can be used repeatedly in a program. A function, uh, like if suppose uh, I want to add some uh, numeric data, so I can create a function and I will pass some parameter to that function and I will do the addition of the data and I will return the data. So it will include some logical, uh, logical code which we can reuse in our program. So a function will not execute it immediately when a program loads. So suppose I am creating a function and if I am uh, running the program, the function will not get uh, executed immediately. So to uh, execute that function, we need to call that function. So once we create a function, we have to call mandatory that function. We have to call manually uh, to run that function. So this is what we, uh, we are going to use in this session. So advantages of using session, uh, functions are, it reduces the repetition of code within a program. Suppose I have some logic which I need in every program, in every uh, part, a part of my module. So I, what I will do, I will write that logic in a function and I will use that function in my entire code. So I don't have to uh, repeat the, those code in every module. So it will reduce your repetition of code within a program. So it can be reused. Uh, once you create a function, you can reuse as many times. Uh, then it makes the code much easier to maintain. So suppose I have thousand lines of code. So instead of uh, writing thousand lines of code in a procedural language, we can create a function uh, and we can just, uh, just divide those uh, thousand lines of code into, into a small bit of code. So this way we can create many, uh, for different functions and we can reuse those functions. So it will make uh, maintenance make, uh, will be very easier for us to do and it makes it easier to eliminate the errors. Suppose uh, if, some, if some errors are coming then it, it can be easily identified because I don't have to go and search in, in that thousand lines of code. It will uh, show me in which function the error is occurring. So these are the advantages of using functions. So suppose I have like code which I want to reuse, so I can create a function and then I use that function. So I don't have to repeatedly write those codes. So it will make us code easier to maintain as well as it will uh, eliminate the repetition of code. First we will uh, look into PHP built-in functions and then we will uh, see how user defined function can be written. So PHP built-in functions are functions that exist in the PHP installation package. So this function comes, PHP built-in function comes along with PHP installation, okay. The built-in functions can be classified into many categories. So like we have different categories of built-in functions. So first is uh, numeric functions, then second is string functions and then array functions and then we have date and time functions. So these are the different categories of built-in functions. First we will uh, look into PHP numeric functions. So in this we will talk about is numeric function. Is numeric function what it will do? It will accept an argument and it turns to if it is numeric. Otherwise it will return false if it is not numeric. So here is an example. Here we are uh, checking is numeric function and we are passing a variable to this function. If this is numeric then it will uh, display me true otherwise it will display me false. So whenever uh, I'm, I want to use this function I will just use is numeric to check if it is the number is numeric or not. And the second function is random function. So what this random function will do it will generate a random number. So if suppose you want some unique number Every time you want some unique number, then you can use rand function, which will automatically uh, automatically generate a random number for your system. Let's see this example.
So it is giving me true. So what I have to return, I am checking if the number is numeric, it will display me true, otherwise it will display me false. So now the number, uh, it is a number, so it is uh, showing me true. Suppose I am making it an string. So what it will show me? So now it is showing me false because now it is not a number, it is a string. So this way is numeric function will work. Now we will see rand function. So it is showing some random number. So whenever I refresh this page, it will show me some random number. So it every time it will generate some unique number. So suppose in your project if you want some unique number, so then you, you can use this rand function. It will generate a, a random number for your program. Now we will see floor function. So what it will do, it will round a number down. Suppose I have uh, some uh, floating numbers and I want to make it into round figure. So here in this example, I am passing 5.7 to floor function. So what it will do, it will give me 5. So it will give me the below number. It will not give me the highest number, it will me give me the lowest number before decimal. So here it is giving me 5. And the next function is seal function, which will round the function we will return the greater number, greatest next possible number. So here I am passing 5.7 to seal function, it gives me output 6. So the difference is between floor and seal is, floor will give me the least lowest number and seal will give me the next highest number which we are passing to the seal function. Now we will see string function. So what are PHP string functions? First one is explode function it will break a string into an array. Suppose I have a string and I want to break that string into a small chunk of array. So I will use uh, explode function. So what it will do, it will take two arguments. First one, by what I want to split this string and the second one is the string argument. So here I am passing a space and I am passing this string. So it will explode the first string in, uh, by space and the second function is implode function what it will do it will return a string from the elements of an array so it is exactly opposite of explode function in explode function it will create array from string and in implode function it will create string array string from an array so this is the difference between explode and uh, implode function so let's see this example I have a string okay. and suppose I want to uh, break this string in by space so I will write So it will split the string into an array by space. So here it will show me four uh, key value press into the array. It will be uh, separated by uh, space. So if I want to uh, use implode function, then I will use a, an array to convert that array into a string. Suppose this I have an array.
So here what we are doing, we are uh, passing an array to implode function and it will return me string separated by space. Next we will see uh, H2R, str to lower function. So this function will convert a string into lower case. Suppose I have a string and I want to uh, make it into lower case then I can use str to lower function. So whatever I, uh, string I pass to this function uh, it will return me into lower case. Similarly we can use str to upper case. So this function converts string to an upper case. So whatever string we pass to this function str to upper function it will return me string into upper case. Now we will see PHP array functions. Okay. Uh, first we will see uh, array underscore combine function. So what it does, it creates an array by using one array for keys and another for its values. So in array underscore uh, combine function, we pass two arguments and both arguments will be an array. So what it will return, it will return me a combined array in which first uh, a key will be from first array and the value will be from second array. So here is an example. Here I am creating an array dollar $a equals to array which will have some values and b it, it is also an array which will have some other values. So if I use array underscore combine and if I pass both this array to this combined function then it will return me an array, uh, output as an array. So what it is giving me, I am getting key from first array and value from second array. So it is giving me green as a key from first array and for this I am getting corresponding value from array B which is value wedge. So it will give me key value from both the array. So let's see this example. Suppose I have a dollar $A variable uh, array. This is my first array and this is my second array. Now I will use array underscore combine function. Okay dollar a and dollar b and then I will print this result. So it is giving me output as from both the array. So key will be from first array and value will be from second array. Now we will see second example of array underscore combined function. Here we are creating two array function. In one array I have three elements. First element is A, second element is also A, third element is B. And in second uh, array I have three elements. One is one, second is two and third is three. So array underscore compound function when it when I am passing these two array the result is C. What I am getting is only two elements. I am passing two array to array underscore combined function. One, the result I am getting only in result I am getting only two elements, right? See here what I have written. If the key input array have the same keys, then the later value for that key will override the previous one. So here in this example, I am passing two key, two value, which which are same. So what it will do? First it will take 1, then when the key is same, for second time it will take 2. So my output will be A equals to 2 and B equals to 3. Got it? So if suppose in an array, if two keys are same, then it will override with this second key. Okay? So in third example, again we are uh, looking for array underscore combined function. So here what we are doing? 
here we are not passing two same keys uh, in array but we are passing two same values for second array so here uh, what we will get here we will get all the three possible key value pairs because it will not overwrite the value if keys are same it will overwrite the keys because keys can be unique but value can be duplicates so if i have same keys then it will get overwritten but the values are same then it will not get overwritten because values can be same but keys cannot be same it has to be unique so next we will uh, see what are array underscore merge function so array underscore merge function what it will do it will take two array and merge into one so suppose i want to merge two array so i can pass those two array to array underscore merge function and it will return me an array uh, a single array it will not return me multiple array it will take two array and it uh, more than two array can also be taken so by this array function array underscore merge function but it will return a, array, a single array. So if the input arrays have the same string keys, then the later value for that key will overwrite the previous one. So in this example, if the uh, if input arrays have the same string keys, then the later value for that key will be over overwrite the previous one. If however the arrays contain numeric keys, the later value will not overwrite the original value but will be appended okay and fourth one is values in the input array with numeric keys will be renumbered with incre incrementing keys starting from zero in the result array so see in first example we have two arrays one is containing key value as color and red and second is only value and third is only value four so i have one array i have another array i am passing these two array array underscore merge so what it will give me array from both the table it will combine and it will return me a single array so what it will give me see my result is first key value is color green so what it is doing it is overwriting with the second one here uh, here i am having colors key here also i am having color key so it will overwrite and it will give me second same value with the second key so here i am getting color and uh, value as a green and the second value is what i am getting is 2 third value i am getting is 4 fourth element i am getting is b a and then i am getting b and then i am getting 4 so what it will do it will merge both the array and it will return me a new array so suppose i am passing key value then it will return me key and value if i am not passing key then it will take key as a numeric value and it will start from it will always start from zero so what it is doing here when i'm it is not get it automatically defines key as a numeric value and it will take value as a two so second time it will take one as a key and next time it will take two and it will increment those key whenever it will get it will get a numeric key or it, it is not getting any key for that value so let's see this example suppose i'm passing key value and I am passing this value 1 and 2 first array and in second array I am passing array
So here I have created two array and I'm passing those two array and let's put merge function. Let's see what results we will get. So what I'm getting is I'm getting five elements. See what I have uh, passed in two array. In first array I had passed color, uh, color key and value as red. Then second element is one and third element is two. So it will merge both the array. So whenever it finds duplicate key, it will overwrite with the second one. So here I am getting color color from both the array. So it will write, it will give me output from second possible key. So here I am getting color key, color as a green. I am not getting color as a red because it is overwritten with the second key, right? And then I am getting one, two, four, and five. So one, two, four, and five. For that I am not passing any key. So it is giving me integer key, and it starts from zero and it will go on incrementing by 1. So I'm getting color green and then I'm getting 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4 and 3, 5. The next example we will see, here I'm passing two array. So here I'm passing first array as a blank array and I'm saying in second array I'm passing one element. Okay. So what it will do, it will merge both the array and it will give me the value from sec, uh, uh, both the array. So here I have only one value in second element. So it is giving me data. So what it will do, here I am passing key as a numeric. Still it is not taking one because whenever a key starts from, uh, is a numeric, it starts from zero. It will not start from any other number. Even I am passing key as a numeric one, it is taking zero as a numeric because numeric key will start from zero, not from in between. Now we will see array underscore key functions. So what it will do, it will return all the keys of a array. So suppose I want to get, uh, get keys from an array, so I can use array underscore keys function. So here what I am passing to an array is array underscore key and I am passing this array. So it will return all the possible keys from this array. So Whenever I am using array underscore keys, it will return the key of the array and the, it will return that key as a value in the new array. So here I am getting 0 and color as the value. And see here the key is 0, so I am getting 0 and here key is red, so I am getting, uh, color is the key, so I am getting color as the value. Let's see this example. So here in first array I am passing two values. Uh, in second array I am passing So here I have created two array. In first array I am passing two keys and in second array I am passing one key and I am calling and I am fetching array keys from both the array. So what I am getting is in first array I am getting zero and color as the key, as the uh, value. So 
it will return key from the first array. So key is zero and color. So I am getting zero and color as the value from first array. And in second array, I am passing only one key, which is B. So I am getting B as the value from second array. So array key function will return key as the value from the array. Uh, in second example, we are passing another array to array underscore key function. So here I am passing some values to array. So what I am getting is, I am getting 0, 3 and 4 as the output. So suppose I have an array and I want to search that uh, array with the keys. I don't want all the keys from the array. I want only some specific, so based on search I want that keys. So here I am passing array to array underscore key function as a first parameter and second parameter I am passing blue. So it will search this array and it will search in the key. So whichever uh, key is, is written as B, it will give me those keys. So here I am getting 0, 3 and 4 from the array underscore keys function. So it will search only blue keyword in this array and it will give me the values from the array. Uh, in this array, I, I will get. I will not get all the possible keys. I will get only searched uh, arrays from uh, based on this search. So you can get all if you if you if you want all the keys from the array, you can. You will pass only one parameter as an array. If you want uh, some specific uh, values from the for, uh, values from the uh, array, then you can pass second parameter. It will search that into the array and it will return only that keys from the array. Now we will see array underscore values function. Uh, it will return all the values of an array and it indexes the array numerically. So suppose I have an array and I want values from this array. Previously we, we were uh, looking for keys. Now we will look for values. So suppose I want values from the array then I can use array underscore values function. So here I have two values in the array, one is Excel and one is Gold. So when I use array underscore values function and I am passing array to this function, it will give me Excel and Gold as the value. So if you want to fetch keys, you can use array underscore key function. If you want to fetch values from the array, you can use array underscore values. So in this example, it will return me values from the array, but the key will be numeric. So it will start from zero. So whenever I am using array values, then it will give me uh, key as a uh, index will be numeric starting from zero. Now we will see array underscore key uh, underscore exist function. So what it, this function will do? It will check if the given key or index exists in the array. Suppose I have an array and I want to search some key in that array and, and I want to check if, if that key exists in the array or not. So I can use array key exist. So it will check that key into the array and it will return true if, it, the, if the key exists in the array else it will return false if key is not exist in the array. So here in this example I have an array in which I have two key first and second. So I am using array underscore key underscore exist function and I am passing first key as the will be search key and the second will be an array. So this key will be searched in this array and if this is present in this array then it will give me the output otherwise it will not return me any output. So because this key is exist in this array so I will get the output as first element is in the array. So this is used to check if the key exists in array or not. So here I am writing a condition if array underscore key yeah. underscore x. So if this function will return true or false. So if returns true then we will give the output. If it returns false then we will not see this output. Let's see uh, this example. Suppose this is an array, okay.
So if suppose I am checking if So here in array, I am passing, uh, I am checking if this key is exist in the array. So this key is exist in the array, so it returns uh, true, right? Okay, suppose I am passing key which is not in this array, okay? So I am passing this key, so I will check. So it will return me false because x, y, z key is not exist in the array. So it will just check if the key exists in the array or not and it will return true or false. Now we will see in, an, in underscore array function what this function will do it will check if a value exists in an array. So previously we checked array key exist function which will check if key exists in the function uh, in the array or not. Now we will see if value exists in the array or not. So for that we use in array function, okay? It will also return true or false. If value exists in the array, it will return me true. If value is not exist in the array, it will return me false. So here I am having an array which have three values, Mac, NT and Linux. And I am checking in array function and passing this key, uh, search key to this array. So if this value is exist in the array, then it will give me the output, it will give me true. If it does not exist in the array, it will return me false. So here first condition I am checking NT, so NT is present, so it will give me output got NT. In second condition I am checking MAC. This value still exists in the array, but in array will, is, is case sensitive. So both are not safe, both are different because it is in lower case and it is in M is in upper case. So it will give me false. If I write M in capital letter, then it will give me true. So in array will check value which will which is exist in the array or not. But it will be checking on key. Uh, it will be check based on key sens uh, sensitivity. So if it is not same, then it will give me false. So this is what we have covered in today's uh, session.